Alright, this is a presentation of the, um, the newest update for the system BIOS. CD-ROM system BIOS. So, let's, uh, let's scroll through here. Um, you all know about the disk media, the cartridge media, there's nothing really inserted as of now. It's a development workstation, so I don't really need the, um, space card. Um, let's go to the data viewer. Um, and over here we have built-in memory in the RAM cartridge. I'm gonna go over to RAM. Select it. It's really, uh... And I found that old Mario concept. Um, proof of concept in the files. I'm gonna use that as my subject for this, day, for this presentation. And I'm gonna hit select. I'm going... So we got two options, got duplicate and clear. I'm gonna duplicate, but there won't be enough blocks, as you will see about now. There we go. I need three or four more blocks. So I'm gonna... Hit clear. Uh, I won't do that. I'm gonna go to disk media, and it should read as an audio CD because of the development workstations. Audio CD and track two. Yes. Takes forever to load. Okay. And I'll hit play. This is the first time I've been able to get a CD ROM adapter, and I've been able to get a CD ROM adapter. This is the first time I've been able to get a CD ROM adapter. This disc is intended for use only on the Super Disc compatible Nintendo Super Famicom CD-ROM adapter or the PlayStation by Sony. Track 1 stores game data and may damage audio equipment when played. To repeat, the following disc is not to be played in this manner. Yeah, okay, so the, the, yeah, that was a just demonstration, de demonstration of the, the features of the, uh, the new data viewer. We, we, we will be adding um, new audio for um, stuff like this. It's really blown out right, right now, but you know, it's just a placeholder. And, um, alright.